Hi guys, so it's day three of my promise to myself and I'm about to take all my meds which I showed you in the last video. Sorry, Obi's trying to eat my medicine. That's not good for you. It's my medicine. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just excited for that and uh, I posted, no, don't, he's licking the lid of my spirulina. Go away. <laughs> I, um, I posted a picture on Instagram yesterday before I went on my um, second walk and I got like so much support I am in shock not shock that's not the right word I'm overwhelmed that's the word overwhelmed by the support because literally like that picture got like a th over a thousand likes on Instagram and usually my pictures only get like 500 tops so and then there's so many comments it was like all the people that have like seen me or lurked you know that that watched me quietly came out and said something and it was really nice to know that there were there were more people there supporting me than i expected um let me take the meds obi is being so naughty right now i'm gonna bring him over here you be in the vlog how about that how about that he's probably attention seeking aren't you he was eating, I've got like these pretty little stars around you and he was trying to eat them. He smells good though. I love the way that cats smell. I don't know if anyone else likes it or if I'm just a weird cat lady, but he has a smell that I like. Um, yeah, so I guess I will see you guys when Kevin and Damie get here and I finally get to give Damie her present, which I made her because I couldn't go see her. Uh, I had a panic attack on her last day of... Um, her concert show and it was a really windy bad weather day and I couldn't get into the city there were trees on the train line and um, yeah just a lot of factors happened and it made it harder for me to get there which made me more anxious and made me have panic attack so I didn't get to go see her last show I didn't get to see her for her birthday but I get to see her today and I'm really excited and I've got to give her a present and um, yes yes because we worked hard on that we worked hard on that present all right I'm gonna go before I waste the battery just talking. <laughs> Look who's here! <laughs> Are you interested in Jesus? No! <laughs> oh, hot damn, you're still there. I made you a present. Oh, damn. Me? This is for your last oh. show and your birthday. Oh! <laughs> 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 my boob! It's a boot game of makeup! Smell it! it. <laughs> it's not real flowers. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I didn't have to do that. I wanted to come, but I couldn't, so I made you a present. Well, I was going to bring that to the show. Yes. <laughs> Is this real? You having a swim? Oh, yeah. A little swim, swim. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, wait. Don't, no, no, not yet. Not yet. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, he didn't shake off. I thought he was going to shake off. <laughs> Good boy, Sam. Good boy. Look how good the weather is. It was literally raining two seconds ago. Oh, Sammy's doing his dance. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> what a happy Derek. Happy Derek. I'm galloping. <laughs> These guys are trying to convince me I can cross this water. Sammy is struggling to, to cross it himself. Look at him. Look at him. Fucking little adventure dog. <laughs> Where are we going? I don't want to die. <laughs> he did it. I don't want to die. Jamie, where is he taking us? Adventure time. Adventure. Oh, hey. Today is day four of my promise to myself. So I'm going to take my meds and I'm going to have some breakfast and then I'm going to let my food settle. And after that, we're going to go for our walk. It's a beautiful day today. Um, yesterday was hilarious because we got completely drenched in the rain. If you follow me on Snapchat, you would have seen some of the snaps and Damie snapped some. Um, it was so funny. Like, I'll, literally, we walked for an hour and the last 10 minutes, we just, like, the heavens opened up and it absolutely poured all over us. Um, we were just so drenched, so drenched. Um, but it was funny, it was funny, and Sammy loved it. Sammy loves getting wet. He goes for a swim in the creek every time I take him for a walk. Um, so, just taking all me, all me vitamins and whatever nutrients. 
and whatnot. Um, let's take that. Today is very pretty. It's been sunny all day, the weather's nice, butterflies are out, birds are singing, sky's got like, it's blue, the clouds are mostly white, there's a little bit of grey, I'm worried, I'm worried about rain, potentially, but um, apparently it's not supposed to rain today, so that's okay. Uh, what am I doing? Why am I talking? Oh yes, um, I, honestly, I struggled today to get out here. It's now 2.30pm, normally I leave for my walk at like 11am. Um, but it's late now. I fought with my brain. I think there's people. I can hear people. Yeah, but I fought with my brain to get out today. So I'm really proud of myself. Look how beautiful the sky is. It's weird how like seeing blue sky and green nature like makes you feel a lot happier. I don't know, like if, sometimes as humans, I feel like we're supposed to be surrounded by these colors. They're supposed to we're supposed to see this shit more than walls and it does help a lot especially walking I'm noticing I'm noticing I've, I've had four good like well three good mental health days in a row and one today not the best but better than other days like I've had worse days um, so this walking thing is working and like it's hard because so many people have told me to do exercise as part of my recovery and it's hard to explain to them that it has to come from you someone can tell you to go walking and you might not be in the right mind frame for it you really have to you know it has to come from you you have to want to do it and you might like part of you might be fighting and being like I don't want to but then there might be a voice in your head that goes come on I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this today and you psych yourself up. I find that if someone tries to tell me to do something or pressure me or get mad at me for not doing exercise, like, oh, don't you know that depression can be um, eased with exercise? Like, yeah, I know, all right? You're not in my head fighting this battle. Telling me what to do is not gonna help me. Telling me what to do only makes me feel more pressured and makes me feel like I'm not succeeding because you're reminding me of what I'm failing at doing. Um, that's what really frustrates me about having this illness and having people that think that they're helping you because there's been a few people in my life that have tried to help me but have made me feel like shit <laughs> to put it in a in a blunt way they've made me feel worse because they don't quite understand when to let go and when to back off and when they're needed and I get that it's hard because not everyone understands mental illness but if you have been through it or if you know someone that's been through it or if you've researched it um, you know I kind of just expect people to kind of sort of just be supportive and I guess that's why I'm making these videos now is to sort of be like this is how we deal with it not everyone's the same not everyone who suffers is the same a lot of people need help for the for the little things like um, it could be something like making food it could be something like going to the doctor it could be, I don't know, little small things. But pushing and pressuring and like being like, you haven't done this, you haven't gone to the doctor, you haven't gone to the psychologist, is just a constant reminder of your failures. Oh my God, Sammy just went for a swim and I didn't even notice. Too busy ranting to you guys. Um, so I just want you guys to know that I totally understand how you feel. And if I ever tell you anything that I'm recommending, it's just me telling you what I'm experiencing and it's not me saying you should go do this. I'm not trying to force you. There's no pressure. You, at your own time, just consider it and one day your brain will say, okay, I'm ready to do this now. Because no one pressured me to do this. No one said go for a walk in the last few however long. No one's like told me to do this. I've been thinking about it for months and months and months. It's just finally got to a nice weather state I'm finally living somewhere where I have a dog that I can walk who loves walking and makes it a lot more fun and I'm just rid of a lot of toxic people in my life now I've just stopped dealing with those people I've just cut them off um, there's been quite a few people actually I'm really surprised how many people I've had to cut out of my life who I didn't realize were toxic at first but um, to be out of that environment and out of situations with certain people you do realize how toxic those people were and I mean 
I just want to say that I hope everyone is happy and everyone is living their life to their fullest no matter what not every like not all people work together not all people um, like a lot of people clash and it might seem all great at the start but then people's true colors come out and um, you know yeah I don't know how to explain this <laughs> there's been just quite a few people that I've noticed in my life that I've just had to just say sorry don't want to have anything to do with you anymore um, but that's, I think it's just a part of life I think that you have to so, I mean sometimes yes I'm all for being the kind of person that accepts everyone and loves everyone and that's who I've always been and as I've become more and more fragile mentally I've had to become stronger mentally at the same time in terms of my relationships with people um, so if you're ever feeling guilty because you stopped being friends with someone or talking to a certain family member or I don't know anything anyone like people that you just meet on a daily occurrence maybe you work with someone and you don't get along I don't know like I am all for just now I'm now I'm all for cutting them out completely um, I never used to be to be honest I was always about making up um, making friends keeping the peace between everyone I don't think you should actively be negative towards each other and actively fight I think that's pointless and a waste of energy I just think that if something is not working and it's not able to be fixed and you just notice someone is really toxic then just <laughs> try and step away from that situation um, yes but I'm very happy in the terms of uh, my family um, my friends um, my boyfriend obviously uh, I've got I'm surrounded with really really supportive people now um, and it was so good to see Damien and Kevin yesterday because they're some of those supportive people. They're just, they're really fun to be around and just remind you, um, you know, to smile and to laugh and to be silly. And that's what you want. You want like, you want those kind of people. Not, and not, you don't want people who remind you that you're mentally ill. You don't want people who keep putting you in that box and treating you like a diseased person, like you're not a functioning human being I get it I'm not half the time I'm not a functioning human being but I don't want to be treated like one it's like when someone says um, when, when you find out the family member has cancer or something like that like God forbid um, but I know that a lot of people that have it won't tell people that they do have it there's a guy coming on a bike they won't pe tell people that they do have it because they don't want to be treated differently that's what this is like I don't want to be treated differently I just want to be understood I just want people to understand that when I'm struggling there's a certain way to handle it and it's not putting me back in my box that's labeled depressed anxiety whatever um, yeah okay so I just opened my geocaching app because Semin and I just kept walking like a different direction completely from where we normally go and I opened my app and I was like oh we're actually close to a beginning of a geocaching trail so if it's not too far I'm gonna try and walk down to it and see if uh, we can find some geocaches I don't know we'll see let's have a go Whoa. Okay, we've just finished two hours. Two hours of walking. Two whole hours. We did it. I'm going inside now. Come on, let's go. Let's go inside, Sam. We did it. Yay! Yay! My legs hurt. 